Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Long time no see. Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show, and welcome back to another Gamma World module review. This time I have the fourth edition Gamma World module, Mutant Master. Uh, it took me a little while longer than usual to read this one. We've got guests and a house full of uh, interlopers, and of course, uh, the weekend and, and, and all that. Uh, not to mention, this module was a bit of a tough read. Uh, the format is a little different having the stats for the NPCs thread throughout the the text as opposed to in a nice concise NPC section at the back of the book and you kinda gotta read through all of that which is, for me is aggravating uh, I'd rather just have it at the end maybe you guys differ in opinion although I, I, I gotta give it to them this module does have mind you it was written many many years ago has various sections throughout the module with places and, and boxes to write your own notes and it also has this weird little hit point tracker so that you can keep track of the hit points as the player characters are doing away with the NPCs which is almost always the case and always pretty much uh, uh, a necessity for the players but I'm going to read off the plot summary of this one because they did in fact make that right there at the beginning so you know what you're getting into so you already know kind of what to expect and then there's the the twists and turns and surprises along the way as you read it the player characters begin in the city of ascension there they are hired by the restorationist justinian to investigate the disappearance of deridal a restoration agent the characters travel to the Saginaw Institute, they spell it differently, and I'll go into that in a moment as well. On the way, they have a few encounters, most notably with Artemis. Artemis is a member of the Brotherhood of Thought, and he follows their pacifistic creed. Artemis is an extremely powerful devotee, able to strip sentience of their mutations. They might go looking for Artemis later to complete this adventure. Once inside the Saginaw Institute, the characters discover a mad computer running the old astrophysics museum. Eventually, they escape with information about the fate of Deridal. The computer destroys the Institute with a nuclear meltdown. Gamma World, right? The characters will probably report back to Justinian. Their tale of uh, Deridal involves a mysterious mutant known only as the Blue Man. Insert your own Blue Man jokes right there if you, if you choose. Deridal has given this man the secret of using... An atomic warhead. Justinian recognized him as the Mutant Master, a dangerous leader of the Iron Society. The Mutant Master can command a sent sentient's loyalty with a simple touch. Justinian asked them to steal or destroy the bomb. Characters travel to Omen, a secret Iron Society base in the hills north of Janus. There they have a climactic encounter that either triggers the atomic warhead or strips the mutant master of his deadly power. Not bad. Not bad. I wish they would have put this on the back of the module so you could, you know, or at least some of this, uh, what they put on the back of the module is, is a little different and, and not as concise. One of the things they tried to do in this module, which was completely lost on me and probably you folks out there as well, was to rename everything they could think of that tied to the old, you know, earth that was uh, giving them weird, goofy sounding names. Uh, for example, I'll go back, give you the, the, the worst offender. That is the uh, Yurkum Torkel, which translates to Atomic Warhead. The players are going to never use these words, never appreciate what, what went into them, and it's going to drive the GM insane trying to keep inserting this 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 new list of vocabulary words into into the play sessions of which this would easily take four to six play sessions of a minimum of three to five hours each to get through all the different stops along the way which they're, they're not bad it's not the worst Gamma World module ever but it's by far nowhere near the best. Uh, it, it's probably so far uh, the second most interesting in my opinion because of all the the, the, 
just the, the choices, the astrophysics lab, you're, you're, you're trying to convince the players that they're being teleported to other worlds because of holographic windows. They're going to know better unless you are inclined to really push that envelope and, and get them to, to buy into the fact that the Orc that was was a, you know interstellar society, which not not the worst idea, but just it's going to be a hard sell. The Mutant Master and the other NPCs are rather lackluster. The his his ability to to take or, or you know enforce loyalty, basically brainwash people with the touch, is kind of interesting. But they're in a big hurry to off the the the, the NPC villain which I think is actually a mistake. I would want to keep him around as long as possible, using his power uh, stealthily to to turn people, knowing all the time that, that Artemis has the ability to reverse the ability. And once he does that, it just cascade chain reaction, and everybody who's ever been affected by him suddenly now wants to kill him, which you can't blame him. But it, 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 just, it just coalesces and... And, and comes to just a really unsatisfying end plus two nuclear meltdowns or two nuclear explosions in one game kind of a little too much it would be better if uh, the the institute the uh, Saginaw Institute didn't decide to, to self-destruct because you left boohoo uh, but you know it's it, like I said Maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys would enjoy it more. Maybe uh, I'm missing something. If you guys have run this one, let me know. But for the most part, it's 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 incredibly railroady, and there's really no way off uh, without just abandoning the whole module. And if your poor DM has gone through the trouble to read it and and, and try to try to run it for you, it'd be better off not letting you know that he's running it from a module. Always great advice, but you're gonna need to seated in there. There's literally no mention of any sort of uh, rewards other than just cold hard cash and you know for Christ's sake this is Gamma World. <coughs> Ancient artifacts from days gone by are far more valuable and interesting than just good old fashioned Domars which again another dumb name. You know, every edition prior is for the most part stuck with gold pieces or uh, occasionally they use the Domars, but you know, just you know, handing out paper money for a job well done, and 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 literally, like I said, nowhere along the way do you find any really valuable, usable equipment that that is kind of you know one of the the great tropes, the great rewards in this game is finding some old piece of technology, trying to get it to work trying to understand it and deal with its complexities and intricacies as well as just the, the, the sheer joy of, you know, coming across a blaster or fully functioning AK or, or you know, anything besides just psh, 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 here's some money, go buy some more swords and, and chain mail. Just, just completely unsatisfying. But, like I said, if you guys run this game, run this module and enjoyed it, tell me what I'm missing. I'd love to hear about it in the comments section. Otherwise, I am going to let you guys go get back to your, your regularly scheduled programming while I get ready to make some fried chicken for me and the boy because I'm getting kind of hungry. And it's been a long, hot day. I will see you guys probably not tomorrow because i got some things i got to take care of. But I will try to get to the next module, which is All Animals Are Equal. From the looks of it, uh, kind of looks like another stinker. But... I'm saving you guys the trouble, so uh, you can thank me later. Anyways, love you guys. I will talk to you real soon, and until next time, happy trails.